What's going on guys? Uh, welcome to another edition of the Metal Shop Vlogs. We are not on the road, we're back in uh, headquarters. I'm going to totally miss that sound. That's not coming on. But uh, it'll be back, it'll be back. But uh, right now, anyway, we are with Miss Sabrina James. Uh, she is a singer, songwriter, guitarist, vocalist, extraordinaire. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, thank, thank you for you. being here. Um, let's go ahead and dive right in and um, ask, um, how did you get started? Like, do you... Uh, what instruments do you play like uh, vocally like how did you how did you start the whole thing well i've always been really interested in uh, uh music i've always been a singer and everything mm -hmm. but it was just in eighth grade when i saw the beatles um i've never liked them before but the guitar hero came out with rock band and it was just so amazing i had to learn guitar for that so uh it took me like about a month to like actually master chords and guitar. And oh, sweet. Just to like, cause I, I was really tired of going to talent shows with the karaoke CDs and things like that. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to learn uh, my own kind of stuff, which is the Beatles. So how, how long have you been playing since then? Oh, uh, well, I was 12, so yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't know, how long is it? Seven years. <laughs> so seven years. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I won't, I'm not psychic. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, but I mean, like, see the thing like with with me, I try to play rock band, and it's or what they call the guitar <laughs> hero, and it's weird because I, I know like how to play them, so it's just weird like just playing a bunch of buttons and stuff. But that's cool. Like yeah, that's, that's what you got started. Right? Um, so like, is there any other other than the guitars, any, other, any uh, instruments that you like play or do, would you like to play? Or? I would like to play the piano, I would, or the bass too. Um, I've been saving up for a bass. But no, I don't play anything else, just guitar and I sing. Just guitar. And, yeah. Um, you you said you want to play piano. Why do you want to play piano? It's, I feel like it'd be more melodic, I guess you okay. could say. You can add it some. Be, yeah, add a lot stuff to, to, it. Your, to your songs. Um, and other than you were saying that the Beatles and like rock star, like, but other than the Beatles, like really got you into, you know, getting into music. Um, is there any other bands or anything that's kind of influenced you? like? all this time that you've been playing guitar and singing and being a musician? Or? Definitely, I think that uh, King Cruel and Tool really broadened everything for me. Um, rather than that, Led Zeppelin, just you know, just old bands, you know? Um, so Old bands like uh, Led Zeppelin? Led Zeppelin. The Doors? The Doors, definitely. Jim Morrison is a huge inspiration. Big Floyd? Completely, yes. Yeah, so like all other, just definitely. like you're, you're kind of like, like old school, like rock. Old yes. school rock, the classic rock. Mostly yeah. during uh, my middle school time. Mm. Yeah. And how did how did it progress? How did that progress? Like for me, be like from middle school to like now. Like, is there any other stuff other than like Led Zeppelin and like the classic rock stuff that you're into right now? Or? Well, I actually uh, brought in from the Beatles because I listened to them six months straight. Oh. Wow. Literally, that's all I listened to. But then after that, I I went to more bands and I started like. Now I'm just, I can listen to anything now and mm -hmm. be influenced by that, like. But, um, what is, um, when it comes to, like, your original type of stuff, like, uh, what genre, like, are you, is it, like, the Beatles, I, I don't like, you know, putting, like, this is how it sounds, or, like, this is how I want to sound, but I mean, like, I'm pretty sure, like, you've picked up your own original sound along the way. Um, what is it that you kind of, like, what sound are you going for? Um, I, I, I can't really say that I have a genre because I really don't know what, I am under, but I'd say it's just pretty mellow, kind of. You just kind of, just, you just, stuff comes out and like that's what it yeah, is. Yeah, like, that sounds nice, whatever. You're like, that chord is pretty. I'm gonna yeah. put another chord in there and I'm gonna sing over it. Yeah, yeah sometimes like it's the best type of songs. Yeah. So you just kind of, whatever it is. Um, have you, uh, in all these seven years, have you been a part of a band or, or are you just like solo artist? Because I know you've, you've just uh, you played solo uh, with your acoustic guitar. Well, I jumped from bands, but um, I've never really played with any uh, since last year. So I would like to. Um, what, band, what bands were, were though? I, we didn't really name it. Uh, we just did it for gigs. Oh, okay. So we didn't have a name. It was just something that was. We were just like, and presenting. Blank. Us. They're going to play some <laughs> songs. Cool. Yeah, we only played with each other once, so. Now, it was like a talent show or it was just like one gig? Uh, no, it was just one gig and that's how I 
kicked off from there. And then I played here. into your originals like how many originals do you have currently right now well i've lost count of them because i don't really have any titles for anything i write it's really rare when i do but i would say more more than 20 because i i've been writing since last year mm -hmm. so it's but it's kind of a tiny amount that, that, that's a lot more than me but <laughs> which is which is good but like, how, how, do, how do you get to 20 like um how do you what's the writing process like do you start with like the music um, how did you start? How do you start with the music, and then like, or do you start with lyrics, and then maybe because of the lyrics it makes you feel a certain way, and you write a certain way? Music, like, how does that? Work? I usually start with music first because if it, uh, my lyrics mainly depends on what um, the music sounds like. Okay. So if it sounds like really sad or like a love song or whatever, it would sound like that, and the lyrics would define what I am trying to do. Okay. And um, what about um, like, has, has it always been that process, or like, is it kind of yeah, you know, so for every song it's kind of different, or is it just music and then lyrics? It's always been music first, because I, I don't think I can do that, or I haven't really tried um, well, writing. Well, it's it's different. It, 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 it's different for every artist. So I mean, either way. But I mean, um, out of all the songs that you've had, or the twenty songs that you have, have you recorded any of them, or like, where have you recorded them, or are they available somewhere? Or? I have uh, recorded uh, recently, probably two weeks ago at the production house, and um, and yeah, I, I have three available. They're barely coming to me through email. Okay, so, so they have, yeah. are they mixed or like are they, are they like ready to go? Or like is, is it a full band or? They're ready to go by me, just me. Okay, cool. Yeah, acoustic. It's acoustic. Sweet. Like oh, um, you said it was the production. We might have like the the Warsaw one. 
Yes. Mm -hmm. Or Sawa. It's kind of always a weird name. Uh, but it's a cool venue. Anyway, um, speaking of venues, you see what I did there? Um, <laughs> what venues have you uh, played already, and um, where would you want to play? I usually have played at the press bar mainly, but um, I would really like to play. I want if I get like a band together. Mm -hmm. Definitely Tricky Falls. Tricky I would Falls. Love to. Yeah, that's probably the number one. Yeah, we'll so like, the whole band. you could you could you could speak to them and be like, hey, I want to play at your. Hey, I want to play Tricky Falls. And where, where else? When I am ready. But where else? Where else? Where, where do you want to tell them? Um, about what? Oh, like where do you want to play? Oh, where Avengers. I want to play? Yeah, uh, Tricky Falls, and I played uh, at least a music hall. I like that place. I know that people say that have some good reviews there, but I've only played once there. It would be cool to play there again. So, um, how long does your set usually last? You said, yeah, like 20 songs. I'm sure you don't play all of them, right? Like no. Play at least, I'm sure like five or six. But how long does it usually last, uh, like for, tell the people, so people want to book you, be like, hey, I want to book this girl, because her set is just, just right, in my venue. Well, I usually get um, 20 minute sets to sometimes 30. But it's usually 25 like in between. So is it, is it a, uh, I'm sorry to cut you off, I'm sorry. Um, is it uh, just originals or like do you like throw covers in there? Like how, how does that go? I like to throw, um, I like to do as many originals as possible, but sometimes if I have to play the same set, if I don't um, come up with anything else, then I throw in some covers just so I don't throw in the same set as the last. Yeah, you have, to be, you have to be versatile. Yeah. What covers do you usually do? Oh, um, just like, I, I know some Radiohead and, you know, New Order. I love Radiohead. I love Radiohead too, but I only know one song, so... Which one? Please. Please. I was just about to say, I was like, why? Play some Color Police or something? I'm True, I agree. But that's pretty, the, it's just four chords, the whole freaking song. So I know, I know. It's easy as fuck. It's amazing. But it's cool. <laughs> um, but uh, I, I know you were you were mentioning it earlier that uh, like you, in the future you're kind of hoping to get like a band or whatever like do you is that part of your plan i know you're just like a solo artist you just play guitar and you sing um and but do you have any plans of like getting a band of, of together or like is there is that like already in motion like are you auditioning people or how does that work? uh i definitely want a band and that's how i want to grow um but i don't plan on sticking an acoustic at all i want it to be electric um but for now i think that's good um uh making as many songs on, as, on acoustic. Yeah, because I, I think uh, that's kind of how you start. Like, that's the, the, the origin of a song is just like acoustic, and just later on you layer stuff on there. Like, if you, you know, switch it to like uh, electric guitar, you add bass, and like more dynamics to it. But, like, it's always, I think a song should always start acoustically somehow. Um, mm -hmm. But, I mean, um, you said you wanted to switch to. Uh, from acoustic to electric. Like, what do you. Do you have the electric guitar already? Like, kind of. On standby for when you switch to a full band or? Yes, I do, but uh, right now currently the pickups on both of the guitars, um, uh, they don't work, we have to get that fixed, but um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, when it comes to um, like writing, you know what we were talking about earlier, like how do you usually just write the music first and then the lyrics? What do you think is um, more difficult to write? Uh, do you think the music is more difficult to write or like the lyrics are more difficult to write? I think the lyrics are definitely more um, difficult to mm. write, yeah. Why, why is that? Because you have to make, it has to make sense, it has to rhyme, and it usually it rhyme. means, I, I feel like it sounds okay. better. Alright, 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 cool. Hey, hey, <laughs> I got a family, man. Don't, uh, oh, okay. don't like me. It's cool. We're good. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. So you're saying? Yeah, so, well, in the music that I write, it just sounds better when it rhymes, because I've tried it without rhyming, and it just doesn't fit. Mm -hmm. So I feel like, oh, that sounds catchy. And you're like, oh, shit. Get it? Because it rhymes. <laughs> that's, that's horrible. That's horrible, guys. <laughs> But um, anyway, so 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 lyrics is just kind of like you know is what you it, you hit a wall sometimes. And you're just like, oh, like what rhymes with orange? Like why? <laughs> and then you get your thesaurus. Yes, all the time. Like all why time. do you, why am I always writing about oranges? It's my favorite food. <laughs> I should okay. stop writing about oranges. Um, speaking of food, um, what's your favorite tacos? Tacos, yeah. definitely shrimp tacos. Shrimp tacos. Always. 
Um, where do you usually go? Um, any Mexican restaurant, really. Any Mexican Sales restaurant? Sales is pretty okay. Okay, all right, cool. I guess. Yeah, but they're okay, right? They're okay. That was like it's such a random question, but that's what it is. It's necessary. <laughs> segment which, which is uh, the rapid fire questions. Doc? No, yeah, I don't, you'll see it right now. Anyway, alright, so can you name it's weird. I, you'll you'll see it in post. Can you name all five instinct members? Instinct. Oh no, Justin Timberlake. That, that's it? Yes. Just one? Alright, cool. Alright. Do you like to be on top or the bottom? Um top. Top? Yes. Like you like bunk bits? Yeah. Top Always. Bunk. Yeah, top top one. one, that's what I meant. Um, do you like to go downtown? I love downtown. Yeah? Yes. Especially now, with like the San Zino Plaza, with the, like, the gators and stuff. The gators. It's really amazing. awesome. Anyway, um, is it true that if you don't use it, you lose it? Yes. Yeah? You have to read all the time. You have to, yeah. Oh, yeah, exactly. I, I was thinking about the David Buster's card, because, you know, sometimes you don't <laughs> use it and then you lose it once. Yeah. Um, what artists would you like to work with the most? Paul McCartney. He's, he's, he's still alive. He's still alive. Alright, we're good. <laughs> Alright, that uh, wraps up the rapid fire and then wraps up the Metal Shop Vlogs. We, uh, we're thankful for having you as a guest, Ms. Sabrina James. And um, guys, book her. What, where, where do you, where do we, uh, what's the best way to get in contact with you? I have a Facebook page. Like it and you can message me on my regular page. <clears throat> the regular page. This, this one right here, right? Right here? You just point it over here. It's right here. Can you touch it? That one. That's yeah. crazy. Anyway. Crazy. Yeah, just message uh, Sabrina James' regular uh, uh, Facebook page. Booker. She does uh, Radiohead. She does her originals. 
and she wants to play at your place, so might as well, right? Thank you so much for joining us on the Metal Shop Vlogs, we'll see you next time.